Hi, it's James Harrison. I'm back with another lesson for you. It's Wednesday. Wednesday is always lesson day. Uh, today we're going to continue the series, what we've done the last couple weeks, and just talking about when you're playing um, fast jazz ride patterns and how to give yourself a little bit of a rest and a little bit of a break by using uh, different rudiments or different uh, licks, I guess you could say, to to break up that fast pattern if you're not really comfortable doing it. Uh, and I should say that I've been demonstrating these by just playing four bars of fast time and then doing that. Uh, you don't have to do it every four bars. You can do it just when you feel like you need a break or something like that. But it actually gives you a little bit of a comping thing, too. Uh, we started off with the paradiddle diddle as a thing, and then we did the five-stroke roll. You can go back and look at those. Next, we're going to use a seven-stroke roll. And in this sense, it's going to be like... Uh, Say huckleberry and huckle and double the huckle bear, but not the e. And the other way we're going to use it is to play doubling the last three notes, like huckleberry, huckleberry. And you're going to play it in a slower rate than what you're playing your jazz ride pattern. And I don't want to get technical and have to write out things and whatnot because a lot of what I'm doing is for people that don't necessarily read. So use your ears. But the idea, if I'm playing a fast jazz pattern, I'm going to play it medium right now. You know, we get tired, you know, I, you can see I even changed it up. It's just habit for me. But to have to do this for a young player for a long time, it runs into a problem. So what we're going to do is use that seven stroke row. Three, four. So if I play it four times, I've given myself a break. Now I'm going to do it on a cymbal. way is okay so that's basically what we're doing we use a seven stroke roll either forwards slow side and I'm going to put I'm going to play it once on the on the uh, cymbal and the drum and then once I'm going to move my hand to the leg so you can hear the cymbal and a slow cymbal sorry So if you play it four times, it, it's really covering four bars of fast jazz time, and it gives you a little bit of a break. So it's just a seven stroke roll, either forwards or backwards, or four times. So you can see how I give myself a little bit of a rest from this. So a 
it just gives me a chance to break up that pattern and give myself a little bit of a break. If you have to be called on playing a, a fast big band tune like uh, Magic Flea or Cherokee or something like that with a combo and you have to do that for a long, long time, you can, you can use quarters and break it up, which was in another lesson we talked about. So you can go back and look at that. Uh, we're going to use another rudiment next week, and then we're going to show you how you can use those in combinations to come up with different things. So remember, we're doing a seven stroke row and just putting the right hand in the cymbal. Or actually use those in combinations. I could do two of them and then change it. I could do uh, every other one. kind of react and do it but those are ways you can once you get a little bit more advanced you can try that so again seven stroke roll or as a break when you're playing fast Seven stroke roll and fast ride to give yourself a break. Give it a try. Hope it works for you. Thanks.